Okay, this is the uh, remote throttle control right here. This position, throttle lever. Okay, this is the idle position or low RPM position. This would be high RPM position. That's the max that it will go. The lever can only move so far. So anywhere in between is going to be between low RPM and high RPM. Uh, so basically your throttle cable uh, fits inside. You got this like little um, just a metal cylinder type uh, thing here that fits inside the throttle lever. Okay, um, If that comes out, it's not a big deal. Grab the sheath of the cable and pull it. Bringing that cylinder piece back, bringing your cable itself, there's a line, an opening all the way up underneath here that allows the throttle cable to sit into, uh, fit into. So I'm pulling the sheath back and I'm repositioning, I'm getting the throttle cable in that little groove and then I'm putting it back in position. So now it's in position, when it's operating properly, this piece should not move, it should stay there. Okay? If you need to adjust the tension on this lever, you got a screw right here. You can loosen it, you can tighten it, depending. If you make it too loose, this will not stay. If you go to bring it to full throttle, as soon as you let go, it'll just snap back in, down to this position. Uh, to fix that, you would just tighten the screw down. Okay, so that's how the throttle lever works. And then we'll go look at the um, linkage on the engine mm -hmm. side. All right, so this lever right here, this is a throttle control lever as well. Since we have a remote throttle, which is the throttle lever at the handlebars, we don't utilize this to regulate the engine speed. But just note, this will regulate the engine speed. Uh, that's low speed position and this is high speed position. So basically what happens is when you move that throttle lever on the handlebar, it's going to move, the cable's going to pull against this right here, um, where it's fastened down, you've got a, a, a screw on it. Some engines have a screw. This has a Phillips end or flathead. Some have an Allen um, type uh, set screw to hold it in place. If this thing gets too tight, this piece right here doesn't want to move real easy. You can loosen this up. I think that's a 10 millimeter just from looking at it. Um, there's a stop screw right here that controls the high RPM. You can screw it in and out as necessary. So if you're if you're finding your RPMs up at 3800 and you want to adjust that, you can screw this screw inward and that will bring the, R the high RPM down. If you need to, it's possible depending on, you know, if your cable got stretched out or something, it may be possible, uh, may be necessary to loosen this screw right down here, um, pull, take up the slack in the cable by grabbing the end of the cable, which is kind of back down in here, you can't, I don't know if you can see it in the video, it's hanging out back here between the uh, muffler cover and the fuel tank, but you could grab it with a pair of long needle nose pliers and, and, and take up the slack and then re-tighten this thing into position. You can also loosen this bracket up and move your cable back very slightly if you need to for, for fine adjustments. But basically that's how the throttle linkage works. I uh, hope that helps.